Hello and welcome to The Place to Soar where our motto is Step Out and Redesign You. I'm your host Anita Russell and as always I have a really really special treat. Um, as you can see I have these four lovely ladies here and we're going to get to know them a little bit more. These are actually uh, young ladies from the Miss Starlight Galaxy pageant system. And the owner and CEO, who is not on camera with us right now, but her name is Topanga Harmony. And I met Topanga, I want to say like maybe a year and a half ago, and I got to meet her and her mom. Her mom and um, Topanga actually came on the show, and we had a really, really incredible conversation. So now we're kind of continuing that conversation with some of her protege, if you will. Um, so we're going to just go through, and I'm going to introduce all of the ladies here, and then we're just going to talk about what it all what it is you do so why don't we just go down the line and you guys can introduce yourselves to the audience well hello my name is Ramaya Jordan and I am your Miss Starlight Galaxy hi my name is Destiny Colazzo and I'm your Miss Teen Starlight Galaxy hello my name is Stephanie Morales and I'm your Junior Starlight Galaxy Ambassador hello my name is Yuri Colazzo and I am your Miss Ambassador now two of these are mother and daughter which I think is just absolutely amazing <laughs> in that Yuri and Destiny. Destiny. Yes, they are mother and daughter. So I'd like to actually start the conversation with the two of you. So can you tell our audience a little bit what it's like for you guys to be doing pageant as together mm -hmm. as mother and daughter? Well, um, I'm going to start out first. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it's, um, it was an honor, you know, to have the opportunity with, to work with um, Mr. Panga. And um, this actually gave us the opportunity for me and my daughter to have a better bond between okay. us, you know, because now we have to, you know, when we go out, it's like, okay, so what are we wearing for the pageant? Or what are we doing, you know, and how do we smile? And, you know, so it gives us, it, start, it started off with the pageant. And um, because before I was more of a mother, you know, to her. Now I'm more of a friend, you know. Now we've, um, I have the, the, pleasure to be with uh, the sisterhood you know oh, nice. and and it's it's a beautiful thing when you get to know all the sisters and um, intertwine and get to get to know each other mm -hmm. and it was it was just beautiful you know and now we have a better relationship and I love to you know the reason why um, we decided to go ahead and get into this well it wasn't really um, Miss Destiny had already been in Little Miss New Jersey Oh. And um, so she already kind of had the exposure, but not not as she does now. Like you know, we we just went on a on a trip, and and it was something that she will always remember. We will always remember, you know. And um, it's a beautiful thing to be able to empower young girls and be a part of it, oh, and nice. know how it works, and and you know let her know. Well, you know, I want you to go to college, and and this is. This is something that Mr. Panga really instills in her girls. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, college is not an option. You know, you, you got to do better in life. So it's, it's a wonderful thing. That's wonderful. So what's your experience? You what's your <laughs> flip side of the story as the daughter? Well, it's actually really fun. You know, some kids, they'll look at me and be like, how can you be with your mother 24-7? It's like, it's, it's actually way more fun than I thought it would be. You know, oh, okay. when we go out to pageants or when we go out to retreats or any events, you would think that she's like, don't do this, don't do that. And she's just actually just very helpful with me as a child and as a um, pageant girl throughout all my pageants. She's actually been there by my side. So now that she's literally by my side in the <laughs> same pageant as me, it's actually a really wonderful experience being able to say, yeah, that's my mom. Miss Starlight Ambassador is my mother and we're in it like together. Oh, that's it's actually really wonderful. Fun. I'm actually going to give a little bit of background on this. The Miss Starlight Galaxy 
is a pageant system that provides cash and educational scholarships for young women ages 10 to uh, 29. So I wanted to make sure because you mentioned education uh -huh. and college and, and all of that. So I want our audience to kind of get a, a good understanding that being in a pageant is not just about your looks and your beauty and Absolutely all of that, although not. that is a part of it. Uh -huh. But there's other things that are involved with being in a part of a pageant system yes. and, and, and all of that. So. Uh -huh. Yeah, and most importantly, each girl has a. I'm sorry, it's hot. <laughs> each girl has a platform, and oh. to us, it's very um, when we go out to the, you know, to compete and you know talk to other young ladies. Each of us or each of the girls have a platform, so they talk about something that affects them or affects others. Mm -hmm. In my daughter's case, it would be epilepsy. So she wants to get to reach out to girls and let them know, you know, epilepsy doesn't stop me from doing anything I want to mm, do in life. Yes, you know, yes. it actually empowers me. You know, I'm still beautiful. I am smart. I'm intelligent. I can do whatever I want to do. You know, and the pageant just helps me as, you know, be a lady and know how to act and know what to do and know what to want in life. Yeah. And you know, and as and she gets to stand out there and let all, every girl or everyone know that epilepsy will not stop you from getting to do. And everyone has its own platform to talk about and discuss within the community and oh, everyone who watches. Yeah, it. that's incredible. So piggybacking off of that, I want Mariah, uh, Ramaya, Ramaya <laughs> to talk a little bit um, because. I know some of your educational aspirations and, and all of that, so can you tell our audience a little bit about who you are and how being a part of the uh, pageant system plays into who you are? Okay, well, one thing with pageantry is it really taught me who I was as a person. Mm -hmm. When I first started pageants, I was 11 years old, and I got into pageantry by um, a letter in the mail, actually, from National America's Myth. And from there, it just roller coastered, and I just decided, okay, I'm gonna do this pageant. I was such an introvert, I really just stayed to myself. Mm -hmm. So it kind of gave me that shove to go out there, and I competed against 320 girls, 320 11 year olds. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this <laughs> is too much. Everybody's talking to me. But it opened up so many opportunities, and as I grew in the pageant system and I grew in the pageant arena, I got to uh, link up with so many great people mm -hmm. and it helped me realize what I wanted to do because I met some older pageant sisters that I've had in previous pageants where uh, they were going to law school and medical school and I always thought, okay, if I decide to do pageantry, this is what I need to do only, but then it dawned on me that I can use pageantry as just a foundation to what I want to do and for what I'm going to do in life, which is going to uh, pre-med neuroscience, um, Utica in the fall, fall 2016, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just pursue my goals in something that I've always wanted to do. It's a heartfelt desire that I've had since I was four years old. And some people think, oh, a four-year-old doesn't know what she wants to be. No, I knew. Oh, excellent. It wasn't just buying doctor kits and playing doctor around a house. It was something that I knew I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And it's not just to help people, but it's to make a difference in the world, to show that a young African-American female coming from an urban area where violence was all around me, I've had uh, friends have their lives taken away, mm -hmm. to show that even in the midst of darkness, light can still shine. Absolutely, so. absolutely, <laughs> that's wonderful. So Miss Stephanie, tell Stephanie. us a little bit about who you are. <laughs> um, well, I'm 12 and I go to school and I'm going to the seventh grade. And what I do as an ambassador, I technically, I volunteer, I do walks, I do cancer walks, I do fashion shows, and I do many other things. So what, what do you see yourself doing when you get older? Well, I want to be like, I don't know what it's called, I want to do makeup and I want to do hair and I want to do nails and I also want to be a fashion designer. Oh, do nice. Very nice. Very nice. So Miss Destiny, tell us your story. Um, well, I am 15, going on 16 next month. But um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I go to Trenton Central High School and when I get older, I've actually always wanted to be a lawyer. But I have currently just, I just came back 
and during June, the ending of June, I just came back from my police academy. I started oh. Trent Police Explorers last year, like as in, I had um, took a break from dance because of my epilepsy. They said I did need a break because it was more of a stress reliever. So I decided I need to keep myself occupied. I didn't want to do any. I didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to do it. I need to get myself occupied. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I did the Trent Police Explorers, and it was actually a wonderful experience. Me, I never saw myself being a police officer. I was like, <laughs> that's not what I want to do. That is not what I want to get involved in. But actually, this has actually really made me look at the world different. You see so many videos and so many. Facebook's post about how bad police officers are, but if you actually get to know them and get to know their lives, it's actually really hard mm -hmm. to do to do that because you you could go into the littlest scene and not know if you're gonna make it home alive or not. Mm -hmm. And people always really say bad things about police officers, but they work really hard for what they do. And coming back from the academy, that built me up really hard. Oh. <laughs> it was very tough on me, but it did show me that not everything in life is going to be easy. Yes. And sometimes you just got to take things on head first, and which I did. So now I actually see myself going more into the um, law enforcement, but around law is where I want to go. And I, was, I had plans on going to Princeton University, and I actually wanted to go to college for criminology. Oh, okay. And see where that takes me. Excellent. So, Ms. Yuri, tell us about you and how you got involved in pageantry. And, and what, at what age did you actually get involved? Actually, um, this was just last year. This was oh, my okay. first experience. Oh, okay. I never would think that I would be in a pageant. And um, I was actually um, appointed queen last year. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Um, thank you. And, um, <laughs> The only problem with that was it's as a queen, you have a lot of responsibilities mm -hmm. in which um, I could not fulfill everything because I am a mother of four. Mm -hmm. I was in nursing school and I was working full time. Oh, wow. And that's I'm a lot. Also white. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. that's like another child sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, it was really hard. You know, I'm the type of person, I'm very responsible. Mm -hmm. So, it was really hard for me to say no to Mr. Pangor. I can't make it. Like, I always tell my daughter, can't is not in our vocabulary. Yes. You know, yes. we we can't say we can't. Yes, we, yes, yes. No, that we have to try. We have to always try. I mean, not, everything you try to do is not going to come as you want to all the time but at least you could say I tried mm -hmm. so I gave it a you know I gave it a chance but it, it was just too much so when I talked to her about it you know um, I really wanted this because it would gave me a, an opportunity to be with my daughter and yeah. and you know become part of this that I had never even had the chance to even look into it. I mean, that was never, mm -hmm. you know, coming from a Hispanic family and watching, you know, Univision and watching the models, that was like, I, I can never. Uh, Not only that, but, you know, back in my times when I was younger, I was um, bullied a lot because of my height, mm -hmm. you know, but because of who my parents were and how my father brought me up, it was like, you know, um, the height is not based from, you know, it's not from the head down the height is from your head and you know up above yeah so yeah. if you want to you can be the biggest giant and you know going into um coming from a very bad place not bad but chicago yes it was, it was a rough place to grow up in so i was made to be tough so you know like i said with my height you know i'm like I would never be a model. I would never be a pageant. <laughs> I would never do such thing. But when I was given the opportunity, I took it and ran with it. Oh, absolutely. You know? And now, you know, when people see me, and even myself, when I see my pictures, I'm like, wow, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like 3,000, 6,000, 5,000 likes. I'm like, wow, that's me. You know? And of course, you hear here and there, oh, you're beautiful, you know. But it didn't dawn on me until I actually saw myself like, oh, wow, that yes, is me, and I yes. am beautiful, you know. So it it really built my confidence and you know my self esteem as well. Okay. So the two of you actually carry the title of ambassador. Yes. So can you tell me what what is an ambassador and what kind of role do you actually play as an ambassador? Mm -hmm. You want you want to talk? Are you on the Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, well, like Stephanie said before, we do um, community service. We try to help within our community. We try to do walks. You know, prior to um, me and Destiny actually being a part of Starlight Galaxy, um, we would just do walks. Mm -hmm. You know, um, with Mr. Panga, we had the chance of, you know, walking for autism. And um, before that, when she was in the pageant, we walked for, um, was it Sick Cell? Sick Cell. Sick Cell. So, I mean, we, we've done walks. Um, just because to show support you know and not not until now that we are in the pageant we're like you know now we're doing it for a cause now we will be, get seen as to before it was just like oh, okay well we were there and we knew we did it but no one else did but now we're exposed and everyone knows what we do oh excellent so miss stephanie what do you, what, do you, what can you add to that okay. about being an ambassador um, an ambassador is similar to being a queen you do mm. almost like the same kind of thing you volunteer you go to many walks and you just do different things and have fun all together Definitely okay. fun. <laughs> no, it's definitely yeah, it's fun. Definitely Excellent. Fun. So, um, you guys talked a lot about this lady called Miss Topanga. So, tell me some of the things that, what do, what do you like about her? What are some of the things that she does to help you along, not just in the pageant system, but it sounds like she really helps you in other areas mm -hmm. of your life. So, can we talk about Miss Topanga a little bit? Yes. Okay. Miss Topanga is hands down the best pageant director or just the best person that I've dealt with in a long time. Mm. She is a real, genuine friend, mentor, role model, just a woman that you can really look up to. Um, not just in the pageant world, she's, she's a person that you can call to for advice mm. whenever you need a helping hand or whenever you just need a shoulder to lean on or somebody that's going to tell you really how it is yeah. even when you yeah. don't want to hear it it's, it's, it's like she's, she's like listen I'm going to tell you this for your own benefit mm -hmm. this is how it is and this is life and she doesn't sugarcoat anything which mm -hmm. I find is phenomenal because life is not going to sugarcoat anything for you uh, for something for me personally I needed help getting money for college and I called Mr. Panga well, actually, she was there throughout the whole ordeal, <laughs> yeah. yeah. and she just went into uh, to, I like to call it kind of like a mommy mode, where she mm -hmm. was just like, "Oh, well, we need to do this, and we need to jump on this," and just it it did something to me, and it made me feel so great to know that this this woman, this real woman, really yes. has my back. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one thing for somebody to say that they're there, they're going to be there for you, and it's another thing for somebody to actually be there for you. Mm -hmm. And she's the type of person that's, if she says it, if she says that she's going to do it, you take the check to the bank because she's going to do it. Excellent. So, Miss Stephanie, what do you have to say about Miss Topanga? Miss Topanga's funny, she's kind, and she really cares about all her queens mm -hmm. and ambassadors. And she's really a fun person to hang out with. And she's like, um, what do you call it? A director and a friend and a coach. Oh, me. excellent. Excellent. And Mr. Panga, I, I want to mention, is actually the CEO and founder of the Miss Starlight uh, Galaxy pageant system. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there as well. So what do you have to say about Mr. Panga? Like I said before, Miss when Mr. Panga coached me for the Little Miss New Jersey pageant, I went in there thinking, I am not going to win this, but it's going to be a fun experience. <laughs> I said that, you know, I'm little, I'm not really, I was so shy, I was, I didn't want to talk to anyone, I was like, I felt like an outcast. And she was just like, you have to go in there, you have to be you. When we were going to the questions, I just like, started freezing, but when I got on there, it was, when I got out there and actually took in every single word that she told me, it was actually like, it came to me easier. It just like came to me and the words were just rolling and it was just great. So when I won, I actually cried oh. <laughs> because I was so happy. <laughs> but one thing I can say about Miss Pena is that she is a very strong woman. Mm. Like she can go through anything, but she will always make sure that every single one of her queens and ambassadors and even friends and family mm -hmm. always keeps a smile on their face. Excellent. So she's always there for us. So Yuri, can you tell us a little bit about um, Ms. Topanga and what Ms. Topanga does for you and how she helps you out and all that sort of thing? Yes. Well, 
Miss Sapanga, I've known her for a couple years now. And um, she's just the weirdest thing. I was working at the hospital and um, I knew her from coaching my daughter at her first pageant. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, when you first go into some things, like it's hard to get to know everyone who's around her, the makeup artist, the who, people who did her hair. I mean, it, it was just too many, okay. too many people. Yes. But it was something special about her. Like she took this, you know, everyone else is just like, you know, oh, let me just do your makeup and that's it. You know, Mr. Panga was very caring. Like she, it was serious. And, you know, that's probably why she won because, I mean, her <laughs> questions, her answers, I mean, she was on point with everything. And um, that's what she does. She, everything she does, she takes it very serious and it's very personal to her mm. to help these young ladies and myself. And like I said, um, I met her at the pageant, um, at Destiny's first pageant. And then um, while I was working at the hospital, I had the honor to take care of her grandmother. Oh, okay. Um, while her grandmother was there. And um, that just you know brought us back together <clears throat> excuse me and you know how they say it's true when hard times come you yes. know who your tr yes. true friends are yes. and I've established a closer relationship with her then mm -hmm. and um, she, we always kept in contact even though you know I was busy and I was in school and I had the kids and all of that but we always kept in contact um, her mother Yes. You know, we all know yes. that she passed yes. and she was an angel and she always made yes. us laugh and you know, she still lives in her because Mr. Panga is very funny. I mean, <laughs> you know, we call it Mr. Panga, Panga, my son, my kids call it twin. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> <laughs> but she, he calls it twin. You know, my baby was supposed to be born on her birthday. Oh, and he waited okay. an hour. So he was actually born a day after. Her oh, okay. But he doesn't know her like Mr. Panga. He knows her as twin. Twin. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but she's helped us. Um, even at home, she'll come by and she'll say, you know, um, I need to work all the time. You you know, you want to go to Great Adventures. Let's take the kids. And, you know, she doesn't. We all know she don't like big rides. So she's like, you and Destiny go on the ride. And I'll stay here with the boys. I'll stay here with the twin. You know, but um, she's she's there. Like the girls already mentioned, she's there. She's a true friend. She's the type of friend that you can call her at any time. And even when she went through everything she went through, she was still there. And she still managed to here and there just laugh you know like when I went to see her she said something and and I'm like am I supposed to laugh like should oh, I laugh yes, because yes. she was in tears but she was laughing you know yes, so yes. It, it's a wonderful thing when you have a friend that's so real like that mm -hmm. and like Ramaya was saying you know it, everyone says I'll be here for you but it's it's not it, it's one of a kind that is really there it's really there mm -hmm. yes so one of the things that I'm really picking up on that um, resonates not just in this conversation but when I was at the workshop is the family involvement so it's like you know somebody's dad was taking the pictures and there were obviously moms there and there were siblings there and so I think that's really impressive so would you um, go so far as to say that and I also heard you guys use the word sisterhood so this is sort of like being in a pageant is kind of like a family it is it is definitely a family <laughs> After yeah. a while, it's like you go in there shy, you don't know anyone, and then you meet them, and then you start to see their personality, and it's like, oh look, it's my best friend. <laughs> like you, you don't go in there saying, I'm going to be friends with every single person here. You just go in there with the mindset, like, I'm going to be myself, and hopefully everything goes well. And when you are in a pageant, you ha you start to get that bond. Like Even competing with some of... Um, when I did Little Miss New Jersey, I actually made friends with almost everyone there that day. And it was actually so fun. And I, I still to this day have some of, almost all of their contacts and oh, nice. everything. So I still stay in contact with them. When you are in a pageant, it does bring out the sisterhood and everything because you you are there for each other because you know how stressful pageants can kind of be, but how, yeah, <laughs> but how very exciting they are, and you just get to have fun with a whole lot of people, and it's actually a great experience. Excellent. Because one of the things that I really like to focus on sometimes is I use this phrase, making the invisible visible. And so, I, like I said, I learned so much just from being around you and just really beginning to understand what being in a pageant is all about. So that whole family thing I found just really, really impressive. So what do you think, Stephanie, about this whole family deal? I find the family thing very fun 
and it brings everyone together. Like you have di at the workshop, you have different pageant systems there, mm -hmm. and it's like fun because you get to interact and make new friends there. And you have your moms and your dads and people taking pictures of you, but you're also having fun while mm -hmm. you have doing questions and stuff like that. Last words of wisdom. Um. <laughs> it's just words of encouragement because there might be some young lady out there that's kind of going through a tough time right now and maybe her seeing you guys will kind of spark something in her life. I have a word of encouragement. Um, understand that pageants don't define your beauty and you do not have to be a stick figure to be in a pageant. Personally, I don't fit the ideal pageant mold mm -hmm. because I don't wear a size 0 or a size 2. I'm gladly a size 10 and I'm very proud of that. And it took a while for me to look in the mirror and say I am beautiful and I'm just beautiful with the crown now. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So I want to thank you ladies. Oh my gosh, I want to thank you thank so, you. so much for coming here and representing Mr. Panga really well and just sort of educating our audience a little bit on what the pageant systems are all about. So um, for those of you who um, are new to this show, these lovely young ladies were my guests today. Miss Starlight Galaxy is the pageant, and I hope you can make it there. And I thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.